With spring coming to an end, summer is here in lawns everywhere and the cool season lawn territories are going to be struggling for the next few months unless you're super prepared and really know what you're doing there's a good chance that you might accidentally kill off your lawn or let's call it parts of your lawn i wanted to give you a list of about five different ways that you could accidentally kill off your lawn or parts of your lawn throughout the course of the summer the vast majority of everything i talk about in this video doesn't really apply to warm season grasses in the southern uh, hot warm season states. If you live down there, then your lawn is going to love the heat. Now, the first main thing that a lot of people do, uh, especially novice lawn owners, is they go and fertilize. They attempt to fertilize the lawn in the middle of the summer. Sometimes they wait until they start seeing the lawn looks a little bit uh, dingy or struggling. And they think to themselves, all right, that lawn needs some fertilizer, needs some lawn food. But what they don't really understand is usually the grasses growing in cool season lawns don't like the heat. And although they may stay green if uh, enough water gets onto them, they're still going to have a little bit of heat stress, mostly because a lot of these territories can easily get up to 100 degrees and have 15 hour long days. The last thing that we want to be doing is trying to push growth by putting down high salt index synthetic fertilizers on the lawn. You go off to any big box store, the most common fertilizer that you're going to find on the store shelf is going to be high on the salt index and almost all of the time during the summer the dirt like the uppermost layer of uh, your soil is going to be dry and when you have dry soil and you put a high salt index fertilizer on it especially if you apply it poorly it will burn if it doesn't burn you're going to be pushing excessive growth heat stressed growth that's going to make your lawn susceptible to to disease and even more susceptible to heat stress when you get that late summer extremely hot snap now, one of the other things that many lawn owners do on error, in error, on accident in the middle of the summer is they don't mow the lawn very often, but when they do, they cut it way down short. Now, I understand why you don't want to mow very often during the middle of the summer because it's stinking hot outside. And one of the things that I do tell lawn owners to do during the summer is to mow your, lo your lawn less frequently, but I don't want you to scalp it. I want you to trim off the tips and keep it long the whole summer. If you go outside every two to three weeks and really just scalp it to the ground, wait for it to grow back up and then scalp it way down, this is a great way to stress the plant out to the point that you start killing it off in certain areas. By the time fall rolls around, you might not have killed everything, but you're gonna have a weak struggling lawn that's probably pretty thin. Now, if you're a lawn owner like myself that has small kids in the house, then this one really should hit home. When you leave things on the lawn during the summer, uh, those things get hot and they will scorch the grass. Like it just happens. It could be a metal shovel. It could be a wheelbarrow. If you've got kids, it could be all of the plastic toys that they play with. This happens to me all the time. I try my very best to pick up toys off of the lawn, deflated swimming pools and whatnot. Most recently, I've got a scorch spot in my backyard because the kids left a black towel a black beach towel right in the middle of the lawn when they did a picnic i was lazy enough to just leave it there for a couple days i come back out and everything under it is scorched brown during the early spring if we put stuff on the lawn it can help warm up the soil but during the summer man anything warming up the soil beyond uh, what the regular sun is trying to do is going to scorch the earth under it now, for those of you who actually want to kill parts of your lawn off, maybe not necessarily the whole lawn space, what this is describing is the solarization method of lawn kill. I get asked frequently on how to kill a lawn off or how to kill grass off naturally without using chemicals. The best way or one of the best ways truly is to wait for June to roll around and then stick plastic over the area that you want to kill off. The high intensity, high heat sun rays are going to come down, go through that plastic and warm the soil up underneath the plastic hot enough and for a long enough period of time we're talking weeks maybe a couple months where all of the soil underneath gets so hot for so long that everything dies all the roots the rhizomes the stolons the crowns the seeds the weeds everything you're just left with bare dirt but it takes a couple months in the middle of the summer most people aren't going to do that on accident but it sure is easy to set up the kiddie pool for the kids drain it and then let it sit on the lawn for one single day and that's all it takes to have a nice little brown ring in your yard. Now, cool season grasses do have what we call summer dormancy, which is usually triggered by a uh, low input of water and high heat. It's basically a drought and heat triggered dormancy. When the grass 
leaves are long and you stop watering it and the heat is battering it all day long, the leaves will start browning out and they'll fold over and it will look like the grass is dying. This is fine. This is not a problem. It's not dying at all. However, if you go and start trampling all over that or allow your kids or your dogs or animals or the mailman, whatever it is, to trample all over your heat and drought, stress, dormant lawn, many parts of that lawn are literally going to die. The crown stays alive and when all of the the dormant leaf tissues fall down. They all fall down over the top of the crown. If you leave it long, they basically protect what's under it. But once you start trampling it, all of those brown crispy leaf tips that are dormant start getting broken apart. All of that foot traffic starts damaging the crowns of the grass themselves. Once the crown dies, even in a dormant state, that's when the grass actually dies. You won't fully see where the death occurs until summer stress eases in the fall and only parts of your lawn start coming back. If you're going to allow your lawn to go into summer dormancy, you got to pay attention to what areas of the lawn are actually getting a lot of foot traffic and consider putting water down just on those areas. Now, one of the last main things that uh, I see people do from time to time is they try, they get really jazzed about lawn care and then they go out and they try to level their lawn in the middle of the summer. Now, although this works well for warm season grasses down south, for cool season grasses, it's not do it like it's a, a no go. Don't do it. Certainly, there's some people out there who can get away with it. But the vast majority of people who just dump soil or sand onto their lawn in the summer and try to level the lawn are literally going to snuff out all of the grass underneath it. And the reason for that is the summer is the slow, mundane grow, growing season for cool season grasses. The grass doesn't want to grow very fast during the summer because of the heat. And when we put soil and sand on top of it, it's like it's a dark, it's dark material. The sun hits it and it's just going to get hotter and hotter, causing that grass to not want to grow even more than it already doesn't want to grow. Couple that with it being covered up, not getting sunlight, you're just going to kill it all off. Leveling your lawn in the summer is fine if you completely understand that those spots are going to need to be seeded in the fall or at the very end of summer. But if you expect to level the lawn and let the grass grow up through it, then you're probably going to be disappointed. Now, each of these things are easily going to kill off your lawn or parts of it but there are other mistakes people make in the summer months out in the yard. Make sure to see this video up here to see an expanded list of the mistakes that people make out in the lawn during the hottest months of the year.